if we know that 30, 60, 90 triangle the way that we related it. So this is 30, that's 60. And here's exactly what I did in the homework quiz, the same thing. Right? So if I'm provided that short leg to find the hypotenuse, I multiply by 2, right? If I'm provided this, to find this, I multiply by 2. But what about if I was, found, if I was provided this and I wanted to find that? What would I have to do? Instead of multiplying by 2, I'd have to do divide by 2. To go from the short leg to the long leg, I multiply by square root of 3. But if I was provided this and I wanted to go back to the short leg, I would have to divide by square root of 3, OK? Well, it, I mean, the triangle can be shaped anywhere. Like, look at this triangle. This doesn't even, that's not even the same way as like this, right? But we need to look at what is it do we have. Here we have the hypotenuse, which is this. So what we're doing is, yeah, we're actually going backwards, right? We're not starting with the short leg and then multiplying by 2 and multiplying by square root of 3. Now we're starting with the hypotenuse. So I always like to go with the easy one, the hypotenuse to the short leg. What do we have to do to go to hypotenuse to short leg? We have to? Divide by? So short leg to long leg, multiply. Or sorry, short leg to hypotenuse, you multiply by 2. Hypotenuse to short leg, you divide by 2. This is hypotenuse to short leg. So you're going to divide by 2. So all we do is 8 square root of 3 divided by 2. So that answer is 4 square root of 3. Now, we can do this another different way. Um, now, we can do this a couple different ways. So again, now, I'm provided the hypotenuse. All right. Um, so, now, well, so now we know the short leg. How do we go from short leg to long leg? Multiply. multiply, right? So all I need to do here is just multiply. So this equals 4 square root of 3 times the square root of 3. All right. So 4 square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 3 squared. The square root of um, square root of 3 squared is just going to become those nice out. So it's just 4 times 3, which equals 12. And that would be your final answer. So you don't always have to go backwards for all of them. Just go backwards to one of them and then see how that kind of relates. Make sense? Okay. Oh.